Levantaré mi bandera Estando en mi país o estando allá afuera Porque para mí, mira, no existen fronteras Yo levantaré mi bandera oh. Levantaré mi bandera Estando en mi país o estando allá afuera Porque para mí, mira, no existen fronteras No, no oh. Hi, welcome hey. everyone to this really amazing series Meet the Garcias brought to you by Waffle Media I am your host, Rafael, a.k.a. The Latin Babbler Alongside our communications manager and senior writer, Brenda Nicole Pena. Our guests today are back, and I mean literally back, from 20 years, <laughs> they're back. And in the new series, The Garcias, a reboot from The Brothers Garcias, which aired on Nickelodeon, we welcome to the show Jeffrey Licon. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he plays Carlos Garcia, Vanessa Patinsky, who plays Lorena Garcia. Welcome. Hi. And Bobby Gonzalez, who plays George Garcia. So everybody's here. So we basically got the originators, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, what up? So I have to ask you guys, because it's kind of one of those things where, I, you know, when it comes to reboots, what was it like for you guys when, when you guys got the call that this was coming back to life? I didn't, I didn't believe it. I, I actually, there, <laughs> there was a moment of disbelief because several months beforehand, I had a very vivid dream that we were doing just a reunion episode. It wasn't like a whole series. It was just like, everybody was back together. We were doing like a reunion thing. And I remember walking down like the steps and it was so vivid and seeing the set again. And so it happened and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up any second. <laughs> and I kind of just felt that way for several years. Uh, anytime Jeff would call me, I'd be like, okay, we're dreaming again. Until all of a sudden uh, I'm in Mexico surrounded by my family going like, wow, no, this is this is real. And I have to work hard. <laughs> the hours. <laughs> Jesse, what about I, you? I, I wish I wish it was a uh, it was so easy as just being a call. You know what I mean? But it was a series of calls um, for for <laughs> various months leading up to it. Uh, but I mean, all of them. All, Jeff Valdez, the the co creator and executive producer and showrunner, he he laid it out perfectly for us, and and it was it was kind of exciting and like invigorating the way that he would tell you know he, he referred to uh football uh references and he would say okay guys <laughs> okay guys they just kicked off okay we got the ball now we're we're, we're gonna run it into their end zone okay we're gonna score a touchdown now. okay guys we're uh we're first and down we, you know we're we're super close we just stay ready okay we're 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 on the goal line Okay, I, we can we can sniff the touchdown. We just gotta we just gotta get the ball across. The, and like it was just so crazy the way that he would, you know, text us and like let it all play out. But it, he was exactly right. He knew exactly what was going to happen, and uh, and he made sure of it. And we were you know beyond excited, beyond you know stoked to just uh, to to see this come to fruition. Yeah, and I mean, I think you know when the boys say that this took months, like in actuality, it actually took years. Um, I think our first reunion was summer of 2018 back at Jeff's place. So, I mean, wow. this has been, That's, this has wow. been worked on for a minute. And, you know, he kept saying, we're going, we're going. I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> and then he called one day and was like, oh, we're going to HBO Max. I was like, oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I have to ask, especially with all the excitement, was there any hesitation at all, especially from the initial call? or anything along that line, especially since it's been so many years? Absolutely not. <laughs> like straight off the bat, I just, I have to, I'll speak up first. Um, no, this, I mean, it was, it was such a big part of my childhood and such a, it made such a mm -hmm. big impact just on my life completely that like, if something like that gets reintroduced to you by any chance, like yeah. you, I would have gone out of my way to, you know what I mean? Like to just make sure that I could Absolutely. be a part of it, let alone a hesitation by any means, you know? So that's me though. Yeah. I, uh, I, I'd been doing everything since the original show uh, ended. I had been doing everything I could to try and get back into the industry, mm. uh, which was difficult because, you know, most of the jobs they wanted me to go for were, you know, drug dealers, drug users, uh, drug makers, uh, anything about involving drugs. Uh, or being in prison and I'm just not, I, I could play those roles, but I'm just not that guy. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to the audition and I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, die. and then it would end and I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I, that's not, I just want you guys to know I'm, I, that's not me. Uh, and then I leave the room and they're like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's not hard. Um, but 
I mean, I, I tried, uh, I started, you know, working on my writing. I started doing stand up, improv, just anything I could just to get myself on a stage just to perform. And so Jeff called me and I'm like, yes, 100%. Oh, this is, this is work that pays. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> you took it pays. Let's go. I think for me, there was a little bit of hesitation uh, just because I hadn't acted in 15, 17 years and completely did a career pivot where I was, um, you know, doing digital marketing, mm -hmm. running a full department at a record label. Wow. But obviously, you know, like Jeffrey said, this was such a pivotal part of our childhood and, and such a, such a thing in my life that shaped me that, you know, when Jeff called, I was like, okay, this is actually happening. If, if you say this is actually happening, okay, let's do it. And like, one of my favorite memories is I remember Jeffrey and I flew out together to Mexico and the plane was landing and I looked at him and we just kind of grabbed each other and we were like, no turning back, yeah, right? right? Like we're, we're yeah. like doing Definitely this Definitely not now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You're already landed. Yeah. <laughs> Once you go through customs, like, how, how, how do you right. go back? That's just That's so it. much extra time. There you go. <laughs> no, I, and just to follow up on that, just to pick up on everything that y'all said, everyone ultimately said that they were connected or I guess just how the show shaped them. I have to confess, I'm an OG uh, fan member. I've been watching, oh my God, since the 2000s all the way through. Grew up in a house full of brothers. Lorena, the character, <laughs> Vanessa, I wanted to be you. So just letting you know that, oh. that is you, awesome. You are me though. That's the thing. You are, you are me. Yes. You know? My character is so relatable in terms of siblings and that dynamic and like the outpour of support has just been so wonderful so. yeah no it's been incredible watching y'all on hbo and like reliving everything but i have to ask to follow up with that can you describe the first moment on set uh, once the camera started rolling how was that feeling did it feel like you know the very first time like old times or was it just a brand new dynamic uh i'll uh, i'll start off with saying that the 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 first script read through for the first episode um that we did together was was very unique and special for me um, just to have literally all of, you know, 11 main cast members and, and all the, you know, other uh, uh, people, part of production uh, there with us. That was very, very special for me um, to understand and just come to grips with the fact that like, yes, this is actually going to happen. Um, but Bobby has a special, uh, I'll let Bobby take over for the, for his first moment <laughs> as far as when they said action though. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. No, it was it was, it was crazy because I, I think I you know I touched on this before that there was just so many times where, where things didn't feel real, and um, I was really lucky because uh, my first scene that I filmed coming back was with Jeffrey. In fact, I mean most of my scenes yeah. in the show are with Jeffrey. Uh, our stories are very <laughs> interconnected, so yeah. him and I worked together a lot, and uh, Jeffrey was always like an older brother to me, um, you know, growing up and stuff like that. He was just, he had like a very, you know, strong impact on, 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 on me as like, I, you know, I developed oh. and kind of, he opened my mind to actually like thinking instead of just accepting what people tell me, um, which is a That's... double edged sword. <laughs> for being real. Uh, You're welcome. And I'm sorry. But I remember being, uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember, you know, sitting there and we're, we're about to film the very first scene. And I think I expected to be nervous. But instead, I just, it all sunk in immediately where I went, not only does this feel real, I feel like I'm home. Oh, and wow. it kind of felt like, you know, we didn't take five years off. It felt like we took a yeah. weekend off. And here I am with my brother again. And we're just going to start working. And we're just going to start doing what we do. And Jeffrey and I play off each other really well. Um, so there's just nothing to worry about. It was such, it was such a, a comfortable way to, like, ease back into it. Uh, and it was... I think it really just set the tone, at least for me, for the rest of the of the season. I agree. Yeah, I think my experience was a little <laughs> different in the sense that Lorena is still <laughs> Lorena is still no, she's you guys, she's still in San Antonio for the first like two mm -hmm. two to three yeah. episodes. So, you know, I got there we all landed at the same time, but I was coasting for like the first week. Like I didn't see anybody. People were like, are you sure you're on the show? And I was like, no, I swear. The kids are us. She's <laughs> somewhere. Not episode. with us, but she's somewhere. So my, yeah. Oh, she's somewhere. But so my first, my first day on set um, was my, I believe it was one of my first days on set was my major um, meltdown in the rain yeah. scene. And oh, wow. again, haven't acted in, in you know almost two decades and it was 
and you've got the elements and Jeff Valdez made sure that that water pressure was <laughs> all in my face and the sound and everything, you know, and then like they, they shut down a part of the town to film this. So you had tourists and people taking yeah. photos, like while I'm having this nervous meltdown and I just, I got upset and I'm like drenched. I'm like covered in sweat, but also like rainwater and like, it was just a very surreal experience like oh this oh yeah we're filming this okay this is this is happening so it was stressful but really you guys wow. are talking about you know your 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 first time coming on to that but it's, it's a little different because now you guys have much many more cast members involved in the process so is there like some type of in doc do they just like sit down and watch like a whole bunch of reruns <laughs> from the old ones just to kind of get caught <laughs> up or like how does, we wish how they does could. that process work <laughs> I mean, I, I think that they gave them some episodes to watch, like just mm -hmm. to study the oh, background yeah. cool. of like, you know, where we were coming from. But I think what's also interesting, and I don't think a lot of people know this, is, you know, we had never met, with the exception of like Zooms and auditions, we had never met our fam our new, the new generation of our families until we got to set and to Mexico. Oh, wow. Like I remember Jeffrey and I, um, we were at LAX and... I was like, I think that's your wife. He's like, I think that's my wife too. Like, so oh. the chemistry and like building that organically from just being kind of shoved into one space to work mm -hmm. together was, was really magical. And like, I can say like I made, you know, best friends and I've become really close to the parents of the kids mm -hmm. and, and all of the new cast members, but like nobody knew anybody going in with the exception of these like Zoom auditions, which is wild when you watch the show because the chemistry as a family is there. I yeah. think it is. Yeah, Jeffrey, what about you? Like, strong. Oh my gosh. Did you, yeah, it, did, um, did, was it like awkward or was, was it like accepting just to kind of like have them so, there? And did you screen babe it, from the airplane just to kind of be in character? Uh, <laughs> 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 Sit next to me. No. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I, we, once we got off the plane, we did introduce ourselves and we realized that yes, that was, so just to clear up that story. But um, yeah. from that point on, we, we still had, um, we still had like quarantine to go because this was like pretty high times with the pandemic and everything still going yeah, on. Yeah. So um, mm. we still had a quarantine to go through. Like once we got there, uh, we, you know, obviously exchanged like numbers and stuff like that. So we could talk, text and talk and whatnot. But um, but it was really smart also because we had an entire week before filming as well um, to just kind of get acclimated. And, you know, they didn't specifically tell us to hang out with each other and, you know, you know, just start to get a vibe, but that's exactly what we did. And it was, it was super beneficial for, for the, for not only us as chemistry goes, but for the show, I feel like, and, um, and yeah, we would go to the pool. We were, we all lived in like this one huge complex, like apartment ish type complex. And every day we would just hang out with each other and just, you know, go to lunch, go to the swimming pool, go to, you know, different adventures. Yeah. And, um, and it was, it was fantastic. And let me just tell you, like, there were legit tears, like on the last day, you know, before we were all starting to head out and, uh, and, you know, just getting to see like my kids and, 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 and Maeve and, you know, Bobby's, uh, kids and, and, uh, and little Ollie, like, it's just, it, it's just so, it's such a trip. I, I grew up with uh, four sisters, so a family of five. So I know what it's like yeah. to, you know, have girls or around the house and stuff like that. But, you know, tr being a father, that's, that's a completely different story. And, um, and yeah, so I just hope that I did uh, dad's justice, I guess. You did from a dad. You yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think something that helped us a lot is it, what was the chemistry reads that we did because at least with you know my wife and my daughter um who i'd lovingly in real life call fake wife fake wife you know, <laughs> it's just, I, I introduce you to as, as fake wife um <laughs> she, yeah uh and I, I think those chemistry reads were so special because i think we immediately saw like oh this is the person that we're going with because it was just so different from any of the other uh, auditions that we had with very talented actors. And I, so I didn't feel weird when I got to Mexico and I met them. I just immediately, like, we just saw each other and we went, ah, and just ran oh, off and like, hugged cool. each other. I love and then that. spent the day with each other and, you know, had dinner and we're on the beach. And, you know, I take I took my my, my fake <laughs> daughter out for, uh, for, you know, for lunch and we just <laughs> talked. And I think we just had like a lot of, you know, conversations kind of 
we realized that we yeah. all had the same message and we were all on the same mission. Uh, even Maeve, you know, she's, uh, you know, she's 12 years old and already she just knows how important this is, which I didn't have the luxury of knowing at my age. I was just like, I'm on a TV show. Yeah, it's a lot different. It was, you know, something that was, yeah. you know, really yeah. pushing our people forward. Um, but yeah, it, it's, I think those, the, they did such a good job with the chemistry reads that as soon as I, I got down to Mexico, I already felt like they were family. So let's get, go ahead and go, go right into it. So the show originated from the Brothers Garcias. That was on Nickelodeon. It ran from, I think, 2000 to 2004. Yep. The reboot now is the Garcias. For those people who have not catched the series or are just learning about it from the first time, I'll let, uh, I'll let Bobby go first. Who are the Garcias? The Garcias are a uh, Mexican American <laughs> family uh, from San Antonio uh, that moved to Mexico for the summer uh, in order to finally like reconnect. I think like before the series, everyone had kind of like split off and they were living their own lives. And so now was the time for everybody to finally come together and finally get to enjoy uh, what is a vacation for some people and a very difficult work trip <laughs> for other people like myself and Jeffrey's <laughs> yeah. character, Carlos. Uh, and our, it's, it's all about the fact that families will fight. Families will always fight. You can count on three things in life, death, taxes, and families will fight. <laughs> uh, but families also are going to love each other. And at the end of the day, we're always, if somebody's going through something, we're going to be there for them. I don't care how angry I am with you. I still love you. You're still part of my family. And it's todo para la familia. That's, that's the question. That's beautiful. There you go. Go yeah, on. right. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was the description, Vanessa. You got a follow up for that? Or are you good? <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I have a slight follow up. Um, obviously, that was perfect. But I, what I want to shed light on that I think is really special, and again, also really intentional with the reboot is, you know, it, in the original series, I was the only sister, and now they have intentionally flipped the script where the brothers have daughters, and I have one son. And so to really be at the forefront of not the brothers Garcias, but the Garcias, and it be, you know, now more female leaning, which again was an intentional choice of Jeff Valdez's. I just, I really love because you've got these really strong mm -hmm. females that are all opinionated, all smart, and all really interesting in, in each of their own passions. And I, when I read that, I was, I was really excited that that was like an intention. Yeah, it's kind of like a, the checks and balances. Now, now the women's rule. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we were reading for the, for, uh, you know, uh, the Garcias for idiots or, or the layman's term for that, uh, the Garcias are me. The Garcias are you. So yeah, that's all it is. I'm actually curious how, it's a short, a short book, book. <laughs> how much of, like, you got an a. your real life characteristics <laughs> do you guys have in your characters of the show? I, you know, I think it's a, just in this short interview, I think it's, been, it's a little <laughs> obvious that it's quite a bit uh, for all of us. Uh, we're all just fools um, in the very, you know, medieval sense. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'll speak for myself, I guess. Uh, I'm very close to, to, to George. Uh, you know, we got to a certain point in the original series where the writers were just writing for me. And so it was just Bobby having to put an armadillo yeah. in a pizza box because the <laughs> pastor's coming over. Um, for anybody who's not seen the original show, that, that is a real plot line. And if you didn't see I it, you missed about out. That, man. We, we got up to it. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, the only difference with George now is um, that the fact that he's a, a father and uh, a husband. And I, I, I had to figure out what those things meant. And uh, to put it simply, just, you know, for, for Nizia, I just realized how much I wanted to support her and everything that she did. As soon as I had one conversation with her and I saw just how much this this meant to her, not just as, a, as an opportunity to be an actor, but as an opportunity to represent yeah. you know, Mexico, uh, to represent our people, to kind of push that forward. Then I was like, I'm going to support you in everything that you do in any way that I could possibly help. And I was just always there for her. Like whenever, she would call me just like she couldn't, like, she wanted to figure out one English word and she'd call me at one o'clock in the morning. And so if I'm like, yep, okay. No, you had it. Yeah, and then know. back to bed. And with my daughter, I just, I wanted to, <laughs> to teach her. Yeah, then back to bed uh, yeah. at one in the morning. Um, and with my daughter, I just, she wanted to learn so much, especially when she saw that I was a comedian. She was like, hey, teach me comedy, teach me anything, teach me bits, teach me this. And it was weird because that's how I was with Carlos the camera when I was a kid. 
I, he, he was just this comedian that was always walking around. I would teach me everything. And so I just realized that I wanted to, to just teach her and everything that she, that, that she could do. And I was like, these are aspects of, of being a father and being a husband that I can latch on to. And I can, you know, try to develop that into something that feels real because the, the, the feelings, I, those feelings were very real. I did feel like I really wanted to support Nietzsche. I did feel like I wanted to, to just teach Maeve anything that she could possibly learn and inspire her. So latching onto those real things, I think, you know, helped develop the character. And then the other thing that George is different in uh, is, is how rich he is. And that one was a struggle. Um, but seeing, seeing the house, you know, you walk into that house and you're told this is your house. Yeah. And then you're like, oh. I apologize for yeah, him, guys. No, I, I, I got it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You guys don't need to apologize. I'll, I'll, I'll do plenty of it at the end. I don't think that Lorena ever went away. She just matured. And, you know, I remember right before making the like final decision of like signing on, I called my mom and dad who were very involved like in the show and being parents on set. And my mom was like, girl, I don't know what you're stressing about. Like you've always been Lorena, just a few <laughs> notches lower. Like you, you are her. And you know, when I, <laughs> now that the show's been out and I have friends watching it, I'll get a random text being like, dude, <laughs> it's you, but it's not you. <laughs> So it's been a really interesting, you know, dynamic of seeing both me and Lorena, but I, I don't, I don't think she ever went away. It was, it was easy. She's just become a, a loving mom with like a maternal instinct and, you know, she's now a wife mm -hmm. as well, but you know, her husband is, is, is yeah. serving. So, you know, a lot of the times I was on a phone acting into a phone, which was a challenge in and of itself, but I think it turned out great because that's the beauty of a green yeah, right. in Hollywood editing. So. Vanessa, I'm going to stay with you. So the show is very centered on culture. Is it a big part of your life? Yeah. And then we'll go from, and then after you, we'll go Jeffrey and then Bobby. Is it, is it a, a huge part of your life now? Yeah. I mean, 100%. I think, you know, what I love about this new generation is, is diversity. You know, I'm very much a mixed baby. My dad is German and Russian and my mom is Boricua. And, you know, to see now that the show yeah. is diversifying and mixing all of these cultures, like that's what we are at the end of the day is a melting pot of cultures. And I think the show's done a really great job of making that very transparent and, and important. Yeah, yeah. So my family in particular um, is unique in that sense as well, just uh, based on, you know, having a uh, Korean American wife and, uh, and kids that are mixed as well. It, there's at the end of the day, everyone is mixed to a certain degree. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. just to have that representation there and for, for them to acknowledge it and for the show to acknowledge it, I just think it, in a sense where it's not in your face, it's just, it is what it is. Like it, it, we're just, yeah. this is how things happen. And we are now family because of it. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's, that's the best part. And that's what's most, um, you know, just, that's what makes me the happiest about the show and, and, and pulling in um, different aspects of everyone's, you know, culture and upbringings and, and never, you know, shutting an ear or, or a listening ear rather, you know, down to, to someone's ideas or, or, or views on things. Um, I mean, that, that's, you can't get much more real life than that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, as far as, showing our culture uh it's it all just comes down to like the proper representation and i think there's probably a lot of people in the world that think that they know what our culture is like it's like yeah yeah you know drugs and violence and stuff and we're like no 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 no. Yeah. you're looking at hollywood yeah, exactly. and that's what hollywood is telling you and our show is is a much more accurate depiction of who we are which is just normal people we we live we laugh I'm not going to say love. I'm not going to finish <laughs> that um but um, but we do love we love so much uh, but no, it's just, uh, it's, it was so great because we got to be in Mexico and we got to really show that side of things. Uh, I think it was really clever to make my wife uh, not Mexican-American, but Mexican-Mexican and, and her to have really uh, strong I ideas on that. And then my character wanting to be more Mexican and realizing I'm, uh, what am I? I it, it's that, that, that identity crisis that so many children of immigrants have had. I've had it. And um, it, we, I, my character deals with it the whole season. And in the last episode, we, without giving too much away, we kind Address of it. show you what Hollywood thinks of us 
and uh, the dichotomy of of seeing what this 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 beautifully represented family looks like compared to how it would be if if, if Hollywood had gotten its hands on it and made a, is is it was really sad. It was really hard to film, mm -hmm. uh, but I it's it's I think it's an important thing that we did, and it's just we're trying. Yeah, as Jeffrey said, we're just trying to address it. We're trying to call our response. It's not, not okay, guys. Maybe if we like put it in front of you, like to see, like maybe you'll you'll get it. And we hope they okay, do. So I want to dive into that because you've said it quite a few times already. Yeah. And it's something that, so, you know, now the, sh the show host from the other side comes in on this side because I'm huge <laughs> on representation. And I'm yes. one of the reasons why I decided that this needed to be like an ongoing project with various interviews and to be able to portray it and how we were going to push it is because I'm really tired of that depiction that Hollywood kind of gives. Yes. So... I get a lot of resistance when I speak to people from the Latino community about what it is to be a successful Latino. So you watch a movie and this drug lord who has this massive house, this massive wealth, these people are looked up to, they're, you know, inspirational to people. Some people are like, oh, look, he got what he, you know, he got everything that he wanted because he was rough and this really big guy. Instead of what the Garcias is doing, which is showing 86% of the Latino community, which is a very successful, you know, entrepreneurial, loving community that actually does have a good amount of wealth. And it's one side that, you know, when you look at it from the, from Hollywood's perspective, it's like, oh, they cherish those. When you look at it from a, for some reason, it's, it's whitewashing and it's not like, that's who we are as a culture, as a people, as a community. So I'm just like super happy. You know, I, I, I viewed a, a, quite a few of the episodes and I was just like, okay, there's a part that like represents me. For instance, you guys have, you know, you guys are brothers in the show. So the same thing that you guys are doing on the show, my son and I do. And we're both like, like everything that you see that we do here, we're like software developers. I'm a web developer. He runs all of the social media. So everything that you've seen was put together by him. And we have those same disagreements that you guys had on episode one, <laughs> where like, <laughs> yeah, where like I'll come in and I'll sit there and I'll say, hmm, I don't know, let me think about that, and and so forth. Like what Bobby did, and Jeff's like, ah, you know what? My son will be like, yeah, but you don't really give me the the ear. You know what I'm saying? Like, and vice versa. Like there are some some ideas that I'll throw, and he'll just be like, no. And just to be able to see that particular scene just shows the relationship of who we are and like how it represents yep. us because my son and I aren't walking down the streets, handing out dimes and nickels and, you know, stuff like that. We're software developers who work in an office in the city of LA. And so for me, it's like, it's really important. And I'm so happy that the show went that route and that you guys believe in that mm -hmm. route, because it's something that for me is like, so impactful and something that we just kind of keep pushing and pushing and pushing until we shove it down their throats to stop doing that. And for that actors like you, Bobby, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, you, you auditioned for, it, but there are some actors who you know, like, turn some stuff down. If you feel like it's a misrepresentation of who we are, if like that's the only role that Hollywood is giving you, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to sit there and say, Hey, you know what? Is there uh you know, somebody who's actually doing this wealth without having to kill somebody or, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so just wanted to throw my two cents yeah. in there because that's, that's one of the sides of the show, the Garcia is that it's like really wholesome and, and kind of feels like home when you guys are watching it, you know? Yeah. It, I mean, Can I... absolutely. Saying, and well said as well. Uh, it, 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 that's what's normal for us or for me, at least, you know what I mean? Is, is, is being able to see Latinos of, of any background, you know, just being normal human beings like to me when i was growing up and and i was still acting um and going out for those you know roles that were completely not me um in mm -hmm. in my in my head i just i always viewed it as like well this is what acting must be like because i have yeah. to go so far out of my own element you know what i mean um but be, to be able to to go onto a set and work as an actor and be so close to your own element, like that's that's amazing. That's a dream, and and I wish it didn't feel like a dream. You know what I mean? Um, 
-hmm. but but yeah hopefully it, it becomes a more normal thing I guess can I also add not only just the success of the Garcia siblings, but also the success of y'all's children mm -hmm. or the actors who portray y'all children? I think from the initial episode, uh, Bobby, your daughter, Meve, she um, she gets commended for having straight A's um, and, and y'all are raising smart children. Jeffrey, and, and forgive me, your two daughters... Um, they are artists. They are into science. Uh, Vanessa, your son is a cook. He wants to be a chef. All of these incredible yes. elements that just, I mean, realistic. That's that that's who we are. And, and I think it's beautiful that even at the child, or I guess the kids being portrayed are also just trailblazers. And actually not even just trailblazers, incredible role yeah. models. I mean, I, I, I love that aspect because it just goes to show you that there's a little bit of mm -hmm. something for everybody in this huge dynamic 100%. family. Yeah. And I also kind of want to transition a little bit. You know, we're talking about these really in-depth topics, especially about representation. The Garcias also spotlights a lot of, you know, heavy, heavy topics. I think... Uh, especially, I believe it's the third episode where um, there was a culture clash or I guess a baptism clash, right? <laughs> I related to that so much. I cannot tell you. Uh, my husband is uh, Ukrainian and I'm Mexican-American and um, just, you know, understanding each other's cultures, trying to, uh, you know, respect your in-laws all the way to Bobby. I also relate completely on, you know, trying to show that you are Mexican enough, you know, drinking yeah. the tequila all the way <laughs> yeah. to, you know, the, the last episode recently, <laughs> I can't remember what the, the item was called, but it was spicy yeah, the, and you the, had to eat crickets. it and you, the crickets. grasshoppers. Yeah. Yes, yes. Chapulines. Those are grasshoppers. Uh, oh my God. Those are real <laughs> grasshoppers. Did you, did you actually oh, eat yeah. it? I have to ask. Oof, oh my gosh. I love yeah. every single one of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you did, baby. <laughs> Major respect. And yeah. Vanessa, my husband's also in the military. And so, as you mentioned, having, um, oh, no. no, well, uh, Lorena, as you said, I am her. All of these other women are her. I'm like, wow, I really am exactly like her. So, a lot of important topics. Um, were there any topics on the show that really resonated with y'all? Um, I, I was curious. Um, first of all, thank you to your thank husband you. for his service. And <laughs> we, just, we really appreciate that. I, for my, my story, um, for Lorena was a really interesting one of having, you know, my, my husband mm -hmm. serving because my younger sister married her high school sweetheart and he wow. was in the air force for a very long time. So this story really resonated with me and really hit home. And, you know, when I told my sister, you know, where, where Lorena is now, she was like, that's like kind of my life. And I was like, it's a lot of people's lives. So that was just a really, a really special, special storyline that I think was, they did a really great job in, in really. I think one of them for, awesome. for myself was with, you know, Alexa and her wanting to be an artist and, and Carlos's, you know, my character, him not really being a huge fan of that route and that path for her. Um, it, it was incredibly similar to, you know, me growing up as an actor and my parental uh, situation and um, my mom being always the one to, you know, take me on those auditions and, uh, you know, just support it in that sense and, and have my back and my dad just not being a huge fan of it and not thinking that like, you know, that was the best thing for me or for the family. Um, and I mean, that's just one aspect of it. But I, I mean, obviously there's lots of decisions where each parent might have just a different viewpoint on, on, you know, on that specific, um, you know, path and, and we're going to get, you know, both sides of it. Luckily, you know, Carlos, he's coming around and, and I think, uh, I think <laughs> Alexa is going to be just fine as far as support goes. But, but yeah, that was, that was definitely a special, um, connection that I had with Carlos and with his daughter. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I, I touched on this before, but really for me, uh, it was just the identity crisis <laughs> of yeah. what it's like to be a child of immigrants. And it's, I mean, it's something that I've, I've had to deal with for a lot of my life. It's where when I was living in uh, Miami, where I was born and raised, I felt like I was very <laughs> Cuban. I felt, yeah. it, you know, I was very yeah. accepted as Cuban. 
uh, as soon as I left and moved to New York, then it was just this this weird game of depending on what crowd I was in, I could be Cuban, I could be uh, American, Cuban American, or I mean, a lot of times just called Mexican because people thought that that was like a blanket statement. Uh, I remember being in a restaurant once. It was a Mexican restaurant. And uh, this, you know, this this girl I knew was like, okay, so help me order because I don't know anything about Mexican <laughs> food and it's part of your culture. And I was like, it's really not. Um, you've been to Taco Bell. You know what? Like, I mean, come on. Like, you, you can figure this out. Um, it was weird. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think the show, oddly, like, well, not oddly, but I, I think um, doing the show and my character going through the journey he did kind of helped me heal a bit and uh, realize it. it really doesn't matter the way anybody else wants to label me um you know i i get to be a part of of two beautiful cultures i get to have that with me and um i it, it's 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 not a negative it's not, it's not a burden it's not something that drags me down it's actually something that lifts me up that was beautiful all of y'all's was really beautiful and y'all are lifting up not only just the latino community but the entire community and being exposed to such an incredible an incredible show that's not only funny, but also is, is real. And I really love that. So thank y'all. Thank you. Uh, to to sh Absolutely. No, to shift a little bit. I mean, it's been over 20 years since y'all have, you know, been um, since the Brothers Garcia, and especially since it's debuted in Nickelodeon, now on HBO Max, which is super cool. <laughs> and each of y'all have, ex you know, definitely grown and, and, and um, ventured out into new projects, new things. Uh, business professionals, bloggers, everything in between. Um, not to mention y'all are just such great role models, especially for a new generation that's being exposed to y'all's work, y'all's talent, y'all's show. Um, what is one piece of advice that you would give to Latino actors, actresses who are also, you know, trying to become artists and wanting to just follow their follow their dreams within the industry i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna say this i'm just gonna try and speak from the heart <laughs> i have nothing planned um you're normal you are 100 percent normal okay. your experiences are normal uh there's nothing that is holding you back other than these artificial rules that have been put in place and luckily we live in a time with social media with YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, where you don't have to follow that system anymore. You don't have to have anybody tell you what you can and can't do. You can go around them. You can make your own fame. You can make your own projects. You can be creative and you can break in that way. And hopefully as, as time goes on, things will get easier in you know the, the, the more traditional route, but don't let anything hold you back because we need you. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I mean, that, that was, it's a great question, first of all. Um, and advice, I mean, shoot, I don't know if I'm the right person to be giving out advice, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, all, all I would say is like, you know, everything feels weird or different like the first time. And it's just consistency and keep doing it and keep, you know, working at whatever it is that you like that, um, that makes it in, in you feel like it is you and it's completely normal. So hiding from that is defeating whatever is inside of you, you know? So, I mean, acting is something that I've literally like just always wanted to do. And yes, I did step away from it for a very long time. Um, but I honestly like never gave up on like, I would even tell like friends, like, you, you know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be that, uh, I'm going to be that like, you know, 60 year old actor and I'll just like come back and I'm, but I'll still look a little <laughs> bit younger and like, and then I'll be able to play like dads, you know what I mean? And like, I would like tell people that though. And like, that was like my justification for like me still wanting to fulfill my dreams, you know? Um, even though I wasn't acting at the time and uh, yeah, just stick, I mean, never give up on it, man. Like, how could you? I I think I'm going to also go and, and speak from the, the heart on this one, like Bob's. I think, um, and this is more of a universal message, but I think it goes a really long way. I just think be kind and be grateful and, you know, yeah. say your thank yous and uplift those around you. You know, it's been so nice to extend this cast and really become a family. And, you know, I've got like parents of the moms texting me, checking in, like seeing, you know, like how everybody's doing and, you know, I just think kindness, especially in the world that we're living in right now. Very cool. Just go hey, that's such a Hallmark moment. I love that. Thank y'all. Like 
Wow. So okay, lucky we're all we should just be able to hug right here in this digital platform. I know, right? Yeah, just live. Uh, a little, a little, a little hug emoji. Get right. oh. too close, you see nostrils and hairs. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah. Sorry. Um, Sorry. So, just you know, from from the sense of the Garcias, what is what is it personally something that you guys want the viewers to take away from from the series? I mean, I feel like I keep repeating it, and it's important. why not? Because uh, I was once told yeah. in, in debate that rhetoric is important. Uh, normalcy. I just want people's sense of normalcy to be confirmed. I want them, anybody who's ever felt like an outsider, it doesn't matter if you were Latino or not, because, I mean, we just happen to be a Latin family. We're pushing that forward. But this show is made for everyone. And so any, for anybody who's ever felt like an other, um, I just want them to feel like, no, 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 you're, you're normal. Your experiences are normal. Don't let Hollywood or just anybody else with hateful intentions tell you that there's anything wrong with you or, or, or different about you. And, and the things that are different about you are absolutely beautiful because that's, those are the things that make you unique. If we were all the same, this would be such a <laughs> yeah, boring right? world. So like embrace your differences. Um, I think that's really important. Yeah. I think, um, I think exactly what Bobby said, but also, uh, the people, all of our viewers are, are going to be affected by it subconsciously, I feel like as well. And we don't even realize it, but just through media, all forms of media, like we're, we, we do have that sense of identity and, and whether it is strong or it lacks a lot, um, subconsciously, a lot of us will start feeling better because of this show. And, uh, and we might not know why. And later on in life, you'll you'll understand. Yeah. And I think I, I think like, you know, we want people after they turn off each episode to just feel feel good. Not only like a sense of normalcy, but like happy. You know, like don't get me wrong, I love a, a drama yeah. docu something that like keeps me up at night. But like I also <laughs> like that this show just leaves you feeling yep. happy and not riddled with anxiety. Just like, you know, that was really nice. That was just, that was kind to watch. Yeah, kind of different from what, like Bobby's saying, is is being pushed as the norm. So I love, right. the, I love the term that you, that you used, exactly. though, when you were sitting there describing that, when you feel like the other. Yeah, like, because that's, that's how a lot of people feel these days. Like, they're the other. It, it, it seems like, um, <clears throat> and we're doing a better job of it. Don't get me wrong. Hollywood is trying. They're like Disney, mm -hmm. some of the other, you know, HBO Max is trying. You know, we had like Encanto. There's a lot more awards yeah. going to Latinos. Coco. Coco. Yeah, Coco fan. So we're, we're, doing, <laughs> we're doing a very good job at starting to get that representation up on the screen, but we still have such a long way to go to kind of start destroying the stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, look, even if you can see ours uh, us on the screen, the stereotype that, that we're put on there, you know, even from our own countries where, you know, people of color are normally the, the la limpieza or, you know, the, the, tra the trabajador, the gardener and things like that. Well, so I, I just think that it's one of those things where we, even though we have a long way to go, or at least we're making the strides and you guys are doing that with this show is you're making a huge, a huge stride. Oh, wow. So very awesome. Thank you. So actually proud to be a part of this interview with you guys. It's, it's, it's a, it's a real honor. Thank it's you. Really cool. It's an Thank honor. you so it's much. An honor. Sorry, so let's go around <laughs> Robin. I'm gonna start with Jeffrey. So Jeffrey, if people wanted to go follow okay. you, where would they go? Uh, geez. Okay. Um, Instagram, <laughs> it, I guess all my handles are the same. Jellycon, J E L I L I C O N. Jellycon. Jellycon. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook is, do people use Facebook? People use Facebook. They do. They do. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think it exists. Yeah. Vanessa, what about you? Um, my platform of choice is Instagram and you can find me at Vanessa, just my first name on Instagram. Oh, very good. She was, she was one of the, I'm just so ones. old. I don't TikTok or anything <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I think I even have one, but like, I, if you want to follow, sure, but nothing's going to happen. So I don't know how exciting that's going to be. What about you, Bob? <laughs> uh, so I've only had an Instagram for a couple of months. Which he got uh, while we were nice. filming on the I show. I only got it to help promote the show. You had to talk him into Very it. Nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. Towards the end of filming. <laughs> Uh, it took it took about you know two weeks of filming, uh, so I got three weeks in total. 
to convince me, but I have it now. Uh, and, uh, you know, everyone take out a pen nope. and paper because I didn't make this easy. Uh, it's at Bobster, uh, B O B B S T E R oh. underscore, got, uh, the letter. He G. added the underscore. So, uh, <laughs> clearly I'm not good at this. Uh, I will post really dumb things. So if you want to laugh at my insanity, yeah. uh, come on over. Uh, Very we'll, we'll cool. First time. round, guys. His name will change eventually. Well, oh. you know, he'll, he'll, and then everybody's gonna have to rebrand whatever uh, yeah, episode we put out there. So exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the dork that yep. saw the first episode and then found y'all all over again. So I'm one of y'all's followers. Amazing. So thank y'all for coming on social media. <laughs> yeah, I was actually shocked by that. <laughs> thank you. As, as you guys started seeing the post, and some of you guys were writing back. Every single time I clicked to see, okay, oh, oh, this is one of the actors. It was Brenda who was following. There was always a similarity to everybody. Brenda was following everybody. I'm like, how are you this fast? Brenda was already, yeah. Brenda had I, already liked this photo. I'm OG. Yeah. She like I'm spam OG, like guys. this. I'm you guys OG, so. Probably got notified. You probably Amazing. turned off notifications just because Brenda started it. following you guys. <laughs> so. I'm sorry if I didn't follow yeah. back. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. You're good. That's that's true. We had to be like Bobby. Bobby, you don't post four photos. <laughs> He's learning, yeah. Vanessa. Yeah. Leave him with, alone. The, with the same <laughs> outfit, just four I different positions. He, he put four separate, trying to maximize the hashtags. That's what Bobby was doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you did see my Instagram when I first launched it. Okay. No, it's just wow. I did the same thing. So I didn't know what I was doing either. So my kids were the ones that corrected me on that. All right, guys, don't forget to follow the series. And it's coming up. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Make sure you listen to these episodes. Get to know the Garcia family. Follow us on social media at Throw the Wafi pretty much everywhere. And make sure you watch the Garcias on HBO Max streaming now. So from myself, Rafael, from Bobby, from Jeffrey, from Vanessa, and from yes. Brenda Pena, we are out. Desde Nicaragua hasta Costa Rica, con esta canción todo mundo se identifica. Llamen a los chilenos y a los